I'm with Ben from Biffy Clyro. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm very well. I saw you lounging by the pool with us earlier. Oh, really? Yeah, that was uh, a wee half hour lounge before we came to soundcheck, but we're still very nice all the same. Which is pretty nice. Where yeah. else can you do that? I heard that you, you've you been to Ibiza before and you cancelled a few shows or worked a schedule around so you could get back here because you loved it so much. Yeah. Um, I think if any band gets a chance to do Ibiza Rocks, they're going to want to come back again. And we've come straight back the, the, the year after we were here last year. Yeah. And uh, it's just such a great experience, you it's know. Amazing. It's, it's, it's unlike any other gig that you get to do in the circuit, and it's a really lovely way for us to round off our summer. Yes, yeah. amazing. So, have you got any, any golden rules or tips? Because I'm a newbie, I've never been here before. To this? Well, don't expect it to just be a bunch of dance fans, really. I think that's what we thought, you know, it's, yeah. a, it's Ibiza, so we thought. We had to tailor, we maybe have to tailor our set and take out some of the heavy songs, but that's that's garbage. You know, the, the, the dance music and rock music aren't mutually exclusive. So, so you've like, got the heavy stuff in there tonight. Absolutely, we're going to play like some super heavy songs, and and the kids love it because they're on an island where they don't really get to hear much music like that. So, but I mean, the, the, you, can, you can love dance music and, and love the biff as well. So are you going to make the pop kids rock tonight? That will. That's pretty much it. Yeah, the kids will pop today will rock tomorrow. They will. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> um, so, new album written, not recorded, is that right or not? Yeah, that's, right? that's pretty much right. Um, not entirely as completely written as we'd like, because we haven't really been home. Yeah. But, um, yeah, this is our last gig um, of the summer, so we'll be home after this and we'll get to put the finishing touches so on what everything. what can we expect? Have you got any...? It's just brilliant, you know, I can't say much more than <laughs> it's that. It's just uh, pretty much amazing. Um, so, as a, as a band, you've collectively got quite a few tattoos. Yes. Do you find it strange or endearing when fans get tattoos of your 17th century Finnish uh, football club slash Biffy Clyro Cliff Richard Byro name? It's it's um, it's wonderful. It's not weird at all. Um, you know, we've we've all got kind of band tattoos. I've got a band tattoo of a bandeirogram I love, and I hope they don't think it's weird that I've got that. And you know, it's this. It makes us feel all warm and fuzzy inside when we meet people that have tattoos of our band. It's, it's, a, it's a lovely thing for somebody to brand themselves for the rest of their life with our stupid name, Biffy Clyro. So uh, <laughs> thank you to anybody out there who's done that. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So if there was a film made mm -hmm. about the life of Biffy Clyro, mm -hmm. who would you want to play you? A pretty boring film. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I reckon it'd be awesome. Uh, be I'll go for Woody Harrelson. That's like the best character ever. Yeah. Okay, right. and how about the Biffy Clyro Camping Glamorous Musical? Well, who would play me? <laughs> yeah, who Again. would play you? <laughs> but I, ca I camp me. How uh, about Simon as well? Who would play Camp Simon? Um, Jesus. Jesus? Yeah, and I'd, Is I'd, Jesus camp? Of course he was. You know, that's why he was so endearing, so everyone loved him. <laughs> and uh, I'd, I'd get Jake Wood, who's the actor that plays Max in EastEnders. I think he'd do a good gay band. <laughs> Personal question: I have family from Scotland. All my family from Scotland. Right. Do you request Iron Brew on your rider? Yes, always, absolutely. Do you? Yes. And what else? Uh, I can't divulge any more secrets, but definitely Iron Brew's in there. That's, that's an absolute must. But sometimes you're in certain countries, it, it comes, and it's not the Iron Brew that we know and love. It's. Um, so they have a fake Iron Brew. Yeah, there's there's a certain ingredient in the Scottish Iron Brew that, like for example, Canadians won't allow in their drinks. And, and what what is that ingredient? I, I have no idea. It's probably something it really cold? bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> something really really bad. Yeah. Loads of caffeine. Yeah. Because I saw when I was in Glasgow last a baby drinking Iron Brew out of a bottle. You're joking me. No. Well, we, we start them young. <laughs> we in start them young. Um, do you ever request tablet? No. Oh no, because I have a present for you. I love tablet, but oh, do you love I it? do love tablet. We never request. I bought you a present because that's, man, a, that's a lot of tablet. Okay, people. if you want to give me one of them back, I wouldn't mind because they're amazing. There you no, go. I'm no, 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 no. You're going to see this. Are you not going to eat it? No, not all of it. So I mean, can we that's... feast on this later? Yeah, yeah. Because um, this is my favourite thing in the whole world, and my mum bought me back like 20 of these. Really? And I went, well, I think I might be interviewing Biffy Clyro. I think I might give them some tablets. Well, thank your mother very much for this. That's this is okay. a wonderful present. And it was very nice to meet you. You too. Enjoy and your en night. Enjoy your night. Enjoy your tablet. And Enjoy I can't it. wait to see you there. And thank, thank you for talking to us. Our pleasure. See you in the pool.